Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial on the Echo. This one is going to be interesting. This is going to be all about the Echo's feedback loop. Um, it's there In the manual there's a little trick if you look under the Echo section there's a trick on how to create a feedback loop with the Echo and uh, it's something that's very easy to do and it's something that I would encourage everybody to do because you can have hours of fun playing with feedback loops. Um, so let's get started. I have an empty combinator template here. It just has a 6-2 mixer in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the mixer. I'm going to create an instrument. Let's create a Thor. And inside the Thor, I'm going to open up my browser. I'm going to go to my Reason Factory sound bank. Go to my Thor patches. Uh, let's take a lead synth. Uh, let's see. Let's just also create a matrix quickly so I can get a pattern in there. Uh, let's create a random pattern. Okay, that's a little out there. Okay, so you have your lead, so now you want to create a feedback loop. So select the um, Thor, and then let's create an echo. And now let's turn the feedback knob down all the way. Very important to turn that down. Make sure you don't have any offset over here. Make sure there's no offset over here, which by default there isn't. And let's turn the delay all the way down. Let's turn off the filter. Um, let's just keep everything else the way it is, and let's also uh, keep the pitch. Um, now, in order to create a feedback loop, you need to have another effect being inserted into the feedback loop. So, for this one, let's make it interesting. Um, the, t the documentation says use a scream, which I would advise you should do. Um, there's a lot of interesting things, but um, there's a lot of interesting ways you can use a scream as a feedback loop, but let's just use a pulverizer for the heck of it. I'm holding my shift key down so that there's no routing that's created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, output and I'm going to send that to the input and then take the input and send that to the output. That's all you need to do to create your feedback loop. Okay? If you turn it around, let's listen to our... <laughs> So you can hear how the feedback loop is being affected. Um, what you want to do is you want to basically make sure that there's no... Um, you want to make sure that it, you don't go crazy with the feedback knob because it, it can get really... it can get ear piercing if you turn it up too high. So just start off slow. Um, I find that keeping the delay at, at zero is probably um, a pretty good way to start off. Um, but as you go, you can create some more interesting stuff. Um, also, let's turn the, the color knob to limit, and let's turn down the drive a little bit. And we're going to try using a comb filter. So let's play that lead again. <laughs> see how the feedback is colored by the sound of the pulverizer itself. Um, let's turn the dirt knob down a little bit um, and then let's try it over again. <laughs> And 
also the other thing is when you stop it the feedback continues so you might have to bring that down again just to reset it back to zero but let's just try it with a scream just for the heck of it um, let's open a browser let's go to reason factory sound bank let's go to the scream four patches uh, let's go to well it doesn't really matter which one we go to because I'm going to initialize it anyway initialize the patch um, let's turn down the master let's turn down the damage because again you can get it can get ear piercing very quickly so make sure your damage and your master are down a little bit and then let's play it back Tell, this is probably a pretty good effect for a guitar. So that's how you use the feedback loop, and um, you can create, you can insert any kind of effect in between. Um, it, well, for the feedback loop, it doesn't have to be a scream. It could be any kind of effect that you can get through the uh, through the effects menu. You can basically put a, another reverb if you really want to, uh, another digital delay if you want to. Although you got to be careful with those. Um, you can create a full back distortion. Um, you can create an envelope control filter, uh, flanger, phaser, unison, anything you want. Try them out in the feedback loop. Just make sure your feedback loop knob is down and set the delay at, at, um, at the minimum or, well, maximum delay here, um, which is the shortest delay possible. And uh, just try, try playing around with it. The, uh, for the color, the limiter probably is the best approach because it does tend to limit the sound or limit the, um, so that you don't get a lot of overs. Although, I mean, if you really push it with the feedback knob, you will get some overs. So that's, uh, that's my tutorial on the uh, feedback loop. I hope you've enjoyed this. And again, come visit me at reason101.net. I am your host, Rob. Thanks a lot for watching.